Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. As we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. And through the prayers of our holy fathers and mothers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Lord, have mercy, 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 Lord, have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Come, let us bow and worship before our King and God. Come, let us bow and worship and fall down before the very Lord Jesus Christ. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Blessed are you, O oh Lord. Blessed are you, O oh Lord. You are very great, O oh Lord, my God, clothed in Blessed are you, O Lord, blessed are you, O Lord. You make spirits, your messengers and flaming fires, your attendants. Are your works, O Lord? Wondrous are your works. The sun knows the time of its setting. You establish darkness, and it is night. Wondrous are your works, O to 
you. You have created all you have created all. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory be to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory be to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory be to you, O God. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Praise to you, eternal loving God and Father, O you who loved us even before we were conceived. Today the gates of heaven, the eternal portals, are lifted high because your only Son, the King of glory, enters in. As we celebrate his glorious return to the right of your majesty, we pray that you will draw us ever closer to him, so that, faithful to him at all times, we, wait, we may rise above the difficulties of this earthly life to enjoy the glory of eternal life. Receive our spiritual worship and prepare us for the descent of your all Holy Spirit in the days to come through the prayers of our holy fathers and mothers. Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Blessed is the man who has not walked in the counsel of the wicked. Alleluia, alleluia. For the Lord knows the way of the just, but the way of the wicked shall be lost. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Serve the Lord with fear, exalt in him with trembling. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are the who trust in him. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Arise, O Lord, save me, my God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Salvation is of the Lord upon your people, your blessing. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia. Mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. O Lord of heaven and earth, our vesper hymns cannot do justice to the feast of your Son's ascension, for we are incapable of fully understanding the meaning of this mystery. Still, in faith, hope, and love, we offer you the sweet fragrance of this incense, and we beseech you to enable us also at the end of our days to ascend to the glory that is the inheritance of all who love you. But while we are still in this life, give us all that we need to rise above every pettiness of mind and spirit, so that we may always strive to live in a manner that is beneficial for us and pleasing to you. Through the prayers of our holy fathers and mothers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. O Lord, I have cried in the sixth tone. 
O Lord, I have cried out to you, hear me, hear me, O Lord. O Lord, I have cried out to you, hear me. Give heed to the voice of my supplication when I cry out to you, hear me, O Lord. Let my prayer like incense before you, and the lifting up of my hands, like an evening sacrifice, hear me, O Lord. Set a guard, O Lord, before my mouth, and a portal around my lips. Incline my heart away from evil dealings, from finding excuses for sinful deeds. In company with those who work iniquity, let me not partake of what they choose. May the just chasten me with justice and reprove me. May the oil of the wicked never touch my head. Yet even then shall I pray for their welfare. Their rulers were swallowed near the rock. My words shall be heard, for they were sweet as a lump of clay broken on the ground, so their bones were strewn near the grave. To you, Lord, O Lord, my eyes are lifted up, and you have I hoped. Let not my soul be lost. Keep me from the snare that was set for me, and from the stumbling blocks of the wicked. The wicked shall fall into their own nets, while I remain alone until I can escape. With my voice I cry to the Lord, with all my voice I implore the Lord. Before him I pour out my supplication, before him I declare my distress. When my breath was escaping me, then you knew my paths. On the road upon which I was walking, they set up snares for me. I looked to my right and observed, there was no one friendly to me. Even flight was denied me. There was no one to take care of my life. I cried to you, O Lord, and said, You are my hope, my share in the land of the living. Listen to my supplication, for I am laid very low. Deliver me from my oppressors, for they have overwhelmed me. The Stichera, from the Octo Echos in the Sixth Town. <clears throat> Lead my soul forth from prison, that I may give thanks to your name. O Christ, you won the victory over Hades. You ascended the cross so that you might raise up with yourself all those who dwelt in the darkness of death. Almighty Savior, you are free from death and bestow life by your divine light. We therefore beseech you to have mercy on us. The just shall gather around me when you have been good to me. Today Christ has conquered death. He has risen from the grave as he foretold, bestowing great joy upon the world. Therefore, let us all lift up our voices and sing, O fount of life, O light, who no one can approach. Almighty Savior, have mercy on us. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord, O Lord, hear my voice. O Lord, where can we sinners flee from you? For you are present in all creation. You are present in heaven, for it is your dwelling place. Your power prevails in Hades, where you conquer death. O oh, Master, your sustaining hand touches even the depths of the sea. Where then can we take refuge except in you? We therefore prostrate ourselves before you and pray. O oh, Lord, risen from the dead, have mercy on us. In the sixth tone for the ascension, let your ears be attentive to the voice of my prayer. The Lord ascended into heaven to send the Comforter into this world. The heavens prepared his throne and the clouds were his ladder. 
The angels marveled at the sight of a man more exalted than themselves. Today the Father receives again in his bosom the one who was in him from all eternity. And the Holy Spirit gives a command to all the angels, Lift up your lintels, O you gates, O you nations of the earth, clap your hands, for Christ ascends to the place where he had been from all eternity. If you mark iniquities, O Lord, who can stand, but with you is forgiveness. O Lord, the cherubim were amazed at your ascension. They were seized with wonder as they beheld you, O God, rising upon the clouds. For you are the one who is seated above the clouds. We sing a hymn of praise to you, glory to you for your tender mercy. I have waited for you as you have commanded, my soul patiently relies on your promise, for it has trusted in the Lord. O Christ, splendor and glory of the Father, when we behold your ascension on the holy mountain, we sing a hymn of praise to the beauty of your countenance. We bow down to your passion. We venerate your holy resurrection. And we glorify your noble ascension. O Lord, have mercy on in the sixth tone, for the fathers of the first ecumenical council. From the morning watch until night, from the morning watch, let Israel trust in the Lord. Before the morning star, you were begotten of the Father. Before the ages, you were conceived without a mother. Even though Arius believed you to be created and not God, he shamelessly confused the Creator with his creatures, and thus deserving eternal punishment. Yet the Council of Nicaea proclaimed you as the Son of God, who is enthroned with the Father and the Spirit. For with the Lord there is mercy, and with him there is plentiful redemption, and he shall redeem Israel from all his iniquities. Who has severed your garment, O Savior? It was Arius who divided the Trinity, who is equal in glory and eternal majesty. For he denied that you are one of the most holy trinity. He taught the transgressing Nestorius to say that the virgin is not the mother of God. But the council of Nicaea proclaimed you as the Son of God, who is enthroned with the Father and the Spirit. Praise the Lord, all you nations, proclaim his glory, all you people, declaring that the light could not be seen. Arius fell into the pit of the impious ones. His body was torn apart by the justice of God, and he gave up his soul in a violent manner. He was another Judas by his thoughts and deeds. But the council of Nicaea proclaimed you as the Son of God, who is enthroned with the Father and the Spirit. For strong is the mercy of the Lord for us eternally, will his truth endure. The foolish Arius divided the unity of the Holy Trinity 
into three different and unequal substances. But the God-bearing fathers came together in council, burning with the zeal of Elijah the Tishbite, and with the sword of the Holy Spirit. They cut down these shameful blasphemies, for they were directed by the Spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Let us honor today those mystical trumpets of the Spirit, namely the God-mantled fathers, who, speaking of divine things, sang in the midst of the church a hymn in unison, teaching that the Trinity is one, not differing in substance or Godhead, refuting Arius and defending the Orthodox faith, they always intercede with the Lord to have mercy on our souls. In the sixth tone from the Octo Echos, now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. Who would not call you blessed, O Virgin most holy? Who would not sing a hymn of praise to the glory of your giving birth without pain or travail? The only begotten Son himself, begotten of the Father before all ages, was made flesh out of you in a manner that cannot be explained, O woman most pure. And for our sake, he who is God by nature assumed the nature of man. He is not divided into two persons. He is understood to have two natures without commixion or confusion. O noble and blessed woman, intercede with him that he may have mercy on our souls. Tranquil light of the holy glory of the immortal heavenly come upon the sunset as we see the evening light we sing to God the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit at all times you are worthy of being joyful voices. O Son of God, you are the giver of life for this the whole world glorifies you. The Prochemenon in the sixth tone, the Lord reigns, he is clothed in majesty. The Lord reigns, he is clothed in majesty. The Lord is robed and girt about with strength. The Lord reigns, he is clothed in majesty. For he has established the universe, it shall not be moved. The Lord reigns, he is clothed in majesty. Holiness befits your house, O Lord, for length of days. The Lord reigns, he is clothed in majesty. The Lord reigns, he 
is clothed in majesty. The lesson is from the first book of Moses. Now when Abram heard that Lot, his nephew, had been taken captive, he numbered his own born servants, 380, and pursued after them as far as Dan. And he fell upon them by night, he and his servants, and smote them and pursued them as far as Chobal, which is on the left of Damascus. And he brought back all the cavalry of Sodom, and he brought back Lot, his nephew, and all his goods, and the women, and the people. And the king of Sodom came out to meet him, after his return from the slaughter of Kolodomer, and the kings with him, to the valley of Sabi. This is the plain of a king. And Melchizedek, king of Salem, brought out loaves and wine, and he was priest of the Most High God. And he blessed Abram and said, Blessed is Abram by the Most High God, who created the heaven and the earth, and blessed is the Most High God, who delivered your enemies into your hand. And Abram gave him a tenth of everything. The lesson is from the fifth book of Moses. In those days the Lord God said to us, the children of Israel, Behold, I am delivering the land into your presence. Go in and inherit the land I swore to your fathers, to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to give it to them and their seed after them. So I, Moses, spoke to you at this time, saying, I am alone not able to bear you. The Lord your God has multiplied you, and here you are today as the stars in heaven in multitude. May the Lord God of your fathers make you a thousand times more numerous than you are, and bless you just as he said. How alone can I bear your labors, your burdens, and your lawsuits? Choose wise, understanding, and knowledgeable men from among your tribes, and I will make them leaders over you. Then you answered me and said, This thing you told us to do is good. So I took from you wise, understanding, and knowledgeable men, and made them leaders over you, leaders of thousands, of hundreds, of fifties, and of tens, judges, to interpret the law for you. And I commanded your judges at that time, saying, Hear the cases between your brethren, and judge righteously between a man and his brother, or the resident alien with him. You shall not show partiality in judgment, you shall judge the small and the great. You shall not shrink from before any man's presence, for the judgment is God's. The lesson is from the fifth book of Moses. Behold, the heaven and the highest heaven, the earth and all that is in it, belong to the Lord your God. The Lord preferred your fathers to love them, and he chose their seed after them you above all nations, as it is at this day. So circumcise the hardness of your heart, and stiffen your neck no longer. For the Lord your God is God of gods, and Lord of lords, the great God, mighty and strong and awesome, who shows no partiality, and takes no bribe. He executes judgment for the proselyte, the orphan and the widow, and loves the proselyte, giving him food and clothing. Love the sojourner, therefore, for you were sojourners in the land of Egypt. You shall fear the Lord your God and serve him, and to him you shall hold fast and take oaths in his name. He is your boast, and he is your God, who has done for you great and wonderful things, which your eyes have seen. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Through the prayers of our holy fathers and mothers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Deem us worthy, O Lord, of passing this evening without sin. Blessed are you, O Lord God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is your name forever. Amen. Let your mercy, O Lord, be upon us, because we have set our hope in you. 
Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your commandments. Blessed are you, O Master, make me understand your commandments. Blessed are you, O Holy One, enlighten me with your commandments. O Lord, your mercy endures forever. Do not despise the work of your hands. It is proper to praise you, and hymns belong to you. Glory belongs to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Sweet Savior, Lord Jesus Christ, this evening in celebrating the feast of your glorious ascension, we approach you once more before retiring for the night that will soon be upon us. This feast, following on the joy of the Paschal season, brings to mind the infant church you left behind and how she has go grown throughout the centuries. Yet we are saddened to see the conscientiousness and self-righteousness that mark the attitude of your churches towards one another. This certainly dishonors you, Lord, and it shames us. So tonight we pray you, we pray that you will lead us to repentance, for you know that it is our sin that cripples your churches. Bless us with true conversion. Show us how to live in a way that reflects your teachings. And let us have done with cravings for recognition, precedence, and power once for all, that your churches may deal with each other as they should, and thereby hasten to the day of their union. Through the prayers of our holy fathers and mothers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Let us bow our heads to the Lord, to you, O Lord. At the close of this evening celebration of your Son's ascension into heaven, Father Almighty, look upon your servants who bow their heads to you. In your boundless mercy, teach us wisdom, grant us understanding, and give rest to our souls and bodies, so that ever guarded by your might, we may persevere with confidence in glorifying your wondrous and blessed name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Through the prayers of our holy fathers and mothers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. The apple stick it up in the sixth tone from the Octo Echoes. <clears throat> O Christ our Savior, the angels in heaven sing the praises of your resurrection. Make us on earth also worthy to extol and glorify you with a pure heart. The Lord reigns, he is clothed in majesty, robed is the Lord and girt about with strength. Almighty God, you destroy the brazen gates and bars of Hades and raised up fallen mankind. Therefore, with one accord, we cry out, O Lord, risen from the dead, glory to you. For he has made the world firm, which shall not be moved. Christ willed to renew us from our corruption of old by being nailed to a cross and placed in a tomb. When the women came to anoint his body, they tearfully cried out, Oh, what sorrow afflicts us! Oh, Savior of all, how could you consent to occupy a grave? If you truly willed this, then why did you allow your body to be stolen? How were you removed? What place now conceals your life-bearing body? O oh Lord, appear to us as you promised, and put an end to our tears. 
As they were lamenting, an angel appeared and cried out to them, Do not weep, but tell the apostles that the Lord is risen, granting sanctification and great mercy to the world. Holiness befits your house, O Lord, for length of days. O Christ, you were crucified of your own free will, and by your burial you imprisoned death. As God, you arose in glory on the third day, granting life and great mercy to the world. In the fourth tone, for the fathers of the first ecumenical council, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O believers, let us come together today to celebrate in faith and true worship the remembrance of the God-inspired fathers who had come together from throughout the world in the splendid city of Nicaea, they rejected the doctrine of the impious Arius and banished him from the universal church. By a decree of the council, they instructed all to openly profess the Son of God that he is consubstantial and co-eternal with the Father before eternity. And they clearly wrote this in the symbol of faith. Therefore, following their divine doctrines, let us worship the Son in true faith, together with the Father and the Holy Spirit, the Trinity consubstantial in one Godhead. In the fourth tone for the ascension. Now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Lord most merciful, after, after fulfilling the mystery hidden from all eternity, you, the Creator and Master of all, went up to the Mount of Olives with your disciples and your mother. For the one who, at the sight of your passion, had suffered more than anyone else in her motherly heart, had more than anyone else the right to share in the joy that fills us. As we witness your ascending into heaven, we glorify your infinite mercy overflowing upon us. Now, O Master, you have kept your promise. Let your servant go in peace with my own eyes. I seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, all I to reveal you to the Gentiles and the glory of your people Israel. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, cleanse us of our sins. O Master, pardon our transgressions. O Holy One, visit our infirmities and heal them for the sake of your name. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Through the prayers of our holy fathers and mothers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. The Troparium in the sixth tone from the Octo Echoes. Angelic powers were upon your tomb, and the guards became like dead men. Mary stood before your tomb, seeking your most pure body. You captured Hades without being overcome by it. You met the Virgin and granted life, O Lord, risen from the dead. Glory be to you. In the eighth tone, for the fathers of the ecumenical council. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Christ our God, you are glorified above all. You established our fathers as beacons on earth and through them guided all of us to the true faith. Glory to you, most compassionate Lord. In the fourth tone for the ascension. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. You ascended in glory, O Christ our God giving joy to your disciples by the promise of the Holy Spirit, and assuring them through your blessing that you are the Son of God, the Redeemer of the world. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, of your most pure, immaculate Mother, by the power of the precious and life-giving cross, through the prayers of the holy, glorious, and all praiseworthy apostles, of the holy prophet, forerunner, and baptizer of the Lord John, whose church it is, of the holy and righteous forebears of God, Joachim and Anna, of the holy, righteous Joseph the betrothed, of the Theotokos, of the God-bearing 318 fathers gathered at the first ecumenical council of Nicaea in 325 AD, whose Sunday it is, and through the prayers of all the saints, O Lord Jesus Christ, our true God, risen from the dead, who was taken up in glory from us to heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father for our salvation, have mercy on us and save us, for you are good and you love mankind. Amen.